before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram if we look together as the visa policy of iran just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and it will show you uh, the visa policy map of iran and as you can see there are some countries that can travel to iran without any need uh, for any visa like egypt uh, turkey syria china malaysia and uh, sultanate of oman uh, for the rest of the world all this um, this different green color like almost all uh, african countries european countries you can either obtain an electronic visa or visa on arrival for countries like united states uh, canada pakistan uh, Afghanistan you will have to apply for visa before traveling to Iran to apply for Iran electronic visa just click over this link over here e underscore visa dot mfa dot ir and then this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website from where you can apply for the electronic visa of Iran so let's see together how to apply using this website just click over apply now and once you click over apply now okay start visa application and application register okay i want a tourist visa i am let's say i am a citizen of for example let's say india ordinary okay place of sure okay which airports you are going to enter to Iran for example this airport okay and then you'll have to write this kabacha okay save and proceed then click continue okay now first name surname father's name okay india india date of birth let's say let's this date single occupation personal photo let's upload a personal photograph all right okay this one is good must be okay applications applicants phone number it's a number email address okay address in Iran then click next step passport number type of passport okay date of issue let's say this year this month expiry date this year this month photocopy okay then go for the next step duration let's say in days let's say i'm staying for 30 days type of entry once okay residence card i don't approximate date of arrival let's say this date date of departure let's say i'm sorry this date okay then save and proceed okay there are some errors okay around phone number one two three four five six seven eight okay passport Kobe just let me try again okay so those these are my informations and this is the visa fees 
Over here, your visa will be valid from the date of issuing the visa for a total period of 90 days. Your stay cannot exceed 45 uh, days. Click Confirm. All right. Okay, applicant information. I have some problems here in my application with the personal information, the photo. Let me try different one. Okay, and then after uh, submitting, after filling all this information, you will have to click confirm over here and after clicking confirm you will be able to uh, download a copy of this visa application form in case you need to apply for visa through the embassy you can download the visa application form from here just click over this link this page will appear in front of you and click over here and this is a visa application form that you will have to download and fill manually by your self and uh, then you will have to submit this visa application form to the embassy of uh, iran in your country along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video in order to submit the visa application form for iran you can see here a list of the embassies of iran and the consulates of iran around uh, the world uh, so you can just uh, check uh, the embassy uh, location here and you will find all the details like the address the phone number and if you are applying from the United States then you will have to apply from the embassy of Pakistan in the United States the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps uh, pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you are applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of, of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket 
and for others it would be okay to submit a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another